Hey guys, it's uh, it's me again. It's uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, March 9th. Um, in about an hour, I have to go to uh, calling hours for a dear friend that that uh, um, passed from this existence to the next on Thursday uh, in his sleep. Um, I'm going to miss my friend Bear. Uh, but I've been sitting down here by the river once again uh, in my recording studio. <laughs> my old dirty sob. But I, uh, I've been sitting down here for a long time, almost an hour and a half. And just pretty quiet. And, and that's pretty miraculous if you know me. It's hard, to, it's hard for me to keep quiet. But uh, I've just been wrestling, wrestling a little bit with with the loss, um, wrestling a little bit with, you know, I, the the way I look at death. Uh, I don't I don't think it's ever easy, um, and and I i don't like to dwell on what i don't know i i i i like to dwell on what i do know um and i know that uh in spite of the hurt in spite of the loss in spite of the 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 grief i know that god will take this and turn it into something wonderful the bible says we're not supposed to grieve like others grieve when our hope is in christ after all jesus did resurrect from the dead and I honestly believe that's the difference uh, between Christianity and any other belief system. Uh, where the rubber meets the road is um, we worship a living God. We, we worship a God who, who's alive, a God who can hear us, uh, a God who can do something about our circumstance, and um, ultimately a God who loves us. So... I know that uh, I know that the Lord loved my friend Bear. I know that the Lord sent His Son to die for my friend Bear. I know that um, that because Bear trusted Christ, that he's absent from the body but present with the Lord. Uh, I know he's okay, and I know I'll see him again. In spite of that truth, in spite of that reality um i i just am sitting down here thinking god throw me a bone um give me something for the people that are struggling with this you know when somebody passes um i lost my little brother three and a half years ago and and i, I all the ramifications of a life are enormous um we we, we think our life is our own sometime sometimes which is absolutely crazy when you consider the loss, for instance, of my little brother. He was my little brother, my baby brother, but he was he was a son, he was a father, a husband, he was a cousin, he was a friend, he was a nephew, uh, he was a workmate. It's just our we have so many relationships. Life is way more intricate than we imagine sometimes. And, in, in this moment, I'm just thinking of how many lives um, Bear touched, how many, how many, his, his name is Michael uh, Kiera, but we called him Bear, and that's another story. <laughs> he's, he's a big, hairy monster, um, but a gentle, a gentle sort, and uh, an amazing guy, lots of fun, um, and he's going to be deeply missed, but so many uh, people are affected. Um, by a life that passes but I remember I'm reminded so you know when you go to these calling hours or you go to a funeral or you're in the midst of someone who's struggling with a loss um, I just always am looking for a word of encouragement something to share with them something that that will encourage and 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 minister um, and when when people are hurting and I remember a long time ago uh, a, a, a friend of mine uh, who I used to play a lot of golf with, his name was Jimmy Rush. We called him Rushy, but 
Rushy died suddenly. And Rushy and his wife, Anna, um, they just, they were amazing people and their, and their, their, their family was an amazing family. And, um, I just remember, um, really wrestling with what to say to Anna and, and, and to Chrisanne and Linda and, 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 and the rest of the family when I went through the receiving line. Um, and, and God reminded me of something that, that uh, you reminded me today here in my silence. And I, I want to remind you of this. You know, God's perspective, when we lose somebody, um, I think the majority of the grief comes from the fact we imagine we'll never see them again, and that's simply not true. Um, because in Christ we have eternal life, and we're promised that we will see them again. And then we're not to grieve like others grieve. Um, but I, I believe sometimes we think it's going to be so long or so... Just, it's just, it, there's a tremendous loss that we wrestle with, and... In a, in, a, in a hollowness and a loneliness potentially. But I remember the scripture that, that God gave me and reminded me of with Anna. And it was a day with a thousand, excuse me, a day with the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. In other words, God's timetable is eternal. It's not like ours. Sometimes we imagine that a lifetime is, a, is an eternity and it's, it's not even close. It's a, it's a vapor that uh, it surfaces and in, in, in a moment it's gone. But I love that a day with the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. And so I took that, my crazy mind, um, I took that equation and I broke it down. And so we don't have to split hairs. I want, I want to just, you know, the average life span in America and I don't know what it is, but, but it's pretty close, I'm sure, universally. But the average lifespan of a human being in, um, in America is somewhere around 80 years. A um, little longer for women in, in, than it is men, but uh, um, it's somewhere around 80 years. And I, I, I got into the equation of the, that, breaking that equation down on God's eternal timetable. And I realized that an average existence, a lifespan of 80 years, is somewhere around two hours. Um, and if you take that two hours and you break it down, it's 120 minutes. And I think, wow, wow. We, sometimes we just think this is it. And when this is over with, that's, it's just over with. But <laughs> there's an eternity waiting for us. And, and so anyways, when I went through that line with Anna, and uh, I'm, I, I'm sure I shared it with Chris Ann also, but I said, I said, Anna, if I told you Rushy died in his 60s, and just like Bear in his early 60s, seemingly way too early, but I remember I said, Anna, if I told you you were going to see Jimmy in the next half hour, I said, would you be encouraged by that? And she said, oh, gosh, Steve, I sure would. And then I told her what I just shared with you about God's eternal equation there. And, you know, I, I believe that ministered to her, and I know it did. And today, if you're out there, if you're hurting, if you've lost someone, just, just think on that today. Bless you. I'll talk to you soon.